Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azuro. Welcome to another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. Now, this time I battled someone named Rodrigo, and he actually started with a Pikachu, which I thought was interesting. So, I mean, I used uh, Porygon 2, Chinchino, Vivalon, Mawile, Gengar, and Metagross. I started with Porygon 2 because I knew it could eat up a lot of hits, and I figured the Pikachu was going to be first. Because usually when I see Pikachus in, bat in Wi-Fi battles, they tend to be toward the front of the party. So this is what happened. Now, alright, so, Rodrigo is issuing a challenge, or issued a challenge. So, as I expected and said, he did start with the Pikachu. So I started with just Ducky the Porygon 2 who I figured could take a lot of hits, and also took the Pikachu static ability, which was which was kind of nice, because although it wouldn't do anything against the Pikachu, it would be pretty good, I suppose, against anything else that Rodrigo would have. So I just went for the Tri-Attack, and that just cl cleanly took out the Pikachu pretty well, while Porygon 2 just ate up the T-Bolt. So on the Greninja, I figure I can just go for a T-Bolt, assuming that the Greninja does not get a flinch. The Greninja did not get a flinch, so I was able to just go for the T-Bolt. And that did a clean amount of damage. Didn't quite get the knockout, but it did a lot. So then he just laid down that Surf, and yeah, that Surf did a lot. I did not expect it to be that much. That's why I went for a recover, because I expected him to... I mean, I don't even know. So I probably should have gone for a recover th this turn, but I actually didn't. So he went for the Waterfall and actually got paralyzed from the static. But, I actually went for the Tri-Attack, because I was wanted to finish him off. If I would have gone for a Recover, he probably would have been able to, been, um, well, had hacks one ter um, some turn in the future, and I would have been able to get a clean knockout with, at full health. But, that did not happen. However, he went into Samurott, and went for a Hydro Pump, and missed. Which was kind of big, that he missed the Hydro Pump. In fact, I mean, I don't know, because it did a lot of damage. In fact, it was able to take out just Ducky. So, if he was able to get the first Hydro Pump down, maybe his Samurott would have lived longer. Although, probably not, though, because I was able to go right into Chinchino, which can go for a Bullet Seed to just get rid of that Samurott. The Bullet Seed probably... I don't know if it would have necessarily... Depends on... I don't know exactly if he... If, if he's EV trained in... Uh, physical defense or not in the Samurai. If he's not defen if he's not completely defensive, probably Chinchino would have been able to take it out anyway. So then he went to Blaziken. Now, Blaziken was able to just go for that tail slap, and I don't even know if that crit ma I don't know if the crit mattered, but in the first tail slap, I was able to get a crit. So, I mean, looking at how small the last, the fifth one was, I don't know if it even really mattered that much. So I was able to just. I went for a um, for a Rock Blast in the Charizard. I saw it Mega Evolve, but I wasn't too concerned because I figured as long as Chinchino lands the Rock Blast, Charizard is down. If Chinchino misses, Chinchino's probably gonna get taken down by the Charizard. So I figured it's gonna be like a flamethrower or some kind of fi strong fire move coming. But I was a but I was able to land the Rock Blast and just take down that Charizard within three hits. Like I said, Chinchino is amazing. So then, he went into his Kyogre. This thing did look kind of intimidating, but I just went for a Bullet Seed, because I knew it would be super effective. I didn't expect a knockout with it, but I expected it to do a lot of damage. However, Chinchino was able to get a crit, and that crit was pretty big. I mean, I don't know how much it really mattered overall in the big picture, but the crit did allow the one-hit KO on the on the Kyogre, and that was the game. So yeah, Porygon 2 and Chinchino are amazing, and I just love battling with them. So thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.